What if I told you that you could earn a PhD jointly awarded by two of the world's leading universities with a partial fee waiver and a generous scholarship? Imagine studying both in India and Australia while working on cutting edge multidisciplinary research. Intrigued? Let's dive into the University of Queensland IIT Delhi joint PhD program. So the application for this is currently open. Therefore, listen to this video very, very carefully. Uh, let me first give you an overview of this program. So this unique program is a collaboration between the University of Queensland, Australia, uh, um, which is among the top 50 global university and Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi and Institute of Eminence. Together, both these universities, they are offering a joint PhD program designed to prepare scholars to deliver global impact. Upon successful completion, you will receive a jointly awarded Doctor of Philosophy degree from both these universities. The program combines the best of the two worlds. You will spend part of your research journey is Brisbane, Australia and the rest in Delhi, India. For Indian and international students, which are known as I students, the structure includes three years at IIT Delhi and one year at the University of uh, Queensland, which will be addressed as UQ in this video ahead. For the Australian students, it's just the reverse. Now, what are the key benefits if you pursue this program? Number one, you will earn a globally recognized joint qualification in just four years. Yes, you heard me right, in just four years. Secondly, you will enjoy a generous scholarship that covers your living expenses, tuition at UQ and even travel grants. Number three, ex you will experience uh, dual supervision throughout your PhD journey by the world-class faculty of both these institutions. Along with this, you will also have opportunities to collaborate with industry. You will also gain access to extensive research and industry networks in both these countries. So let us now talk about the financial support that you will get. Eligible Indian and international students, which are, as I have said, will be called as I students, will receive a monthly stipend of 47,000 rupees uh, in per month and 52,000 rupees uh, per month in their uh, third and their fourth year. Australian $35,000 will be the annual stipend for the second year which they spend in Australia and Australian dollar 5200 would be the travel expenses plus health insurance for the Brisbane stay. While UQ tuition fee is waived, students are required to pay the IRE Delhi tuition fee and of course a normal student service fee for UQ. Now who can apply for this program? For master's degree holders in engineering, technology or sciences, an aggregate percentage of 65% is required and a national level exam score like GATE or UGC NET are appreciated but not mandatory. For bachelor degree holders in engineering or technology, an aggregate of 80% is required. National level exam scores are needed unless you are a graduate of CFTI. Let me repeat, CFTI students having 80% and above do not require a national level test. For master's degree holders of science, arts and humanities, an aggregate percentage of 65% is required along with a national level exam score like GATE or UGC NET or an equivalent are mandatory. For medical graduates, a minimum of 60% is required along with a national exam score or equivalent. If you have uh, two years of professional experience, you can uh, apply even without a GATE or any other national level exam. So, what is the research preparedness and English proficiency required? Applicant must demonstrate research preparedness such as completing a supervised research project or publishing scholarly article or having substantial industry experience. Additionally, English proficiency is mandatory. If your pre previous education wasn't in English, you will need to provide a TOEFL or an IELTS score. So finally, let's come to the most important part, the application process. So here's how you can apply. Number one, find a project. 
So explore the PhD projects on the Academy's website. Number two, check the eligibility. Ensure that you meet the academic and the research requirement. Uh, prepare documents would be number three gather your CV transcript English proficiency proof and your evidence of research preparedness and after this submit an expression of interest which is EOI this is the first step to your getting shortlisted the application for the expression of interest are currently open from the 14th of February till the 18th of March Finally, if you are shortlisted, I mean, if uh, then uh, you will be invited to submit a full application. If you are nominated by the Academy Selection Committee, you will be invited to submit a full application through the UQ's online application portal. Yes, this is by invitation only. So this program is once in a lifetime opportunity to pursue a PhD from the world's two most renowned institutions. And if you're wondering how to navigate the process, don't worry. We are here to help you. At Zenith PhD Training and Consultancy, we guide you at every step of your PhD journey. If you want to know more about our guidance and mentoring, then you can reach me on the number below. Start your journey today with ZPTC.